யாதும் ஊரே யாவரும் கேலி விச் மீன்ஸ் ஐ எம் அ வேர்ல்டு சிட்டிசன் எவ்ரி சிட்டிசன் இஸ் மை ஓன் கித் அண்ட் கின் In this series video, we are going to see some of the AWS important certification frequently asked questions which are experienced by my candidates. So I am going to cover some major questions which are need to be addressed before taking your AWS certification and training. So the first question is, are there any mandatory training required to take an AWS certification exam? So this so training is recommended as a part of your certification preparation but it not mandatory officially according to amazon so people who are working in real time aws projects can take any of the aws certification without any training program mandatorily so the next question is which aws certification is actually chooses my career or my organization structure so there are many kinds of certification in aws uh, cloud practitioner level is available associate level three certifications are available solution architect associate sysops associate and developer associate in professional level two certifications are available um, aws solution architect professional and developer operation professional and in specialty level we have four certification machine learning specialty big data specialty networking specialty and alexa skill building specialty so there is an a definite path for all the certification types i have explained in my another video so you can find all this information about all the certifications in a url link which i have mentioned in this video so please go through this link to get a clear explanation on all the certification types which are available with aws so how can i register my aws examination whatever exam it is it is going to be a cloud practitioner exam or associate level professional level specialty exam how can i register these exams so go to the url called aws.training you will find a link to create your own aws account with your own email id i have explained it in another video uh, explaining in a step by step process on how to register an aws examination in aws.training portal please do see that video So what is AWS examination retake policy do I have an option to take up the examination again which I have failed the answer is going to be no the the test taker who does not pass his examination must wait at least 14 days to retake the exam again so the next attempt if you are going to take you need to pay the complete registration amount no discounts or double shot vouchers are provided by AWS it is going to be a single shot take for an examination so when will I get my examination results after I complete an AWS exam. So you are going to take up your examination at a uh, nearby PSN view or PSI test center. So after your examination has been completed, you will get an immediate notification from AWS uh, pass or fail notification on the testing screen of your machine. So you can verify from that. After that, you will receive an email after completing your exam, which includes your detailed exam results. uh in which email id you have registered with your e- uh, aws account so after that within 5 business days of completing your examination your aws certification account will have a record of your exam results under previous exam you can download a certificate as well so the next question is is there an option to reschedule my exam if i cannot make my scheduled appointment in any of the psn view or psi test centers so the answer is going to be s yes from aws so you can reschedule cancel or reschedule your exam up to 24 hours before your scheduled appointment without any additional fees so if this is going to get extend beyond 24 hours your examination fee will not be refunded by aws okay so uh, to manage or reschedule or cancel your examination go to your certification account click manage psi exams or manage psn view exams to change the timings or to change the test center so please note that you may only reschedule two times after scheduling your original appointment so after beyond the two times you need to book a new appointment or cancel your appointment before making another entry another uh, registering for your examination entry So the next question is how can i verify an individual certification status so you want to verify an individual whether he is officially certified from aws or not so it is very simple so we have the following steps to verify an individual 
so you can find it in the bottom right corner of your certificate which is going to generate in your certification portal download that you can find it in the bottom right corner of your certificate and then you need to go to this particular url which i have mentioned in this video you can uh, enter your uh, validation number and you can verify it so what are the prerequisites to take professional or specialty exam uh, so there was a pre-request before 2018 by AWS to take at least one associate level paper uh, before going into professional or specialty exam but after October 2018 AWS has removed all the pre-requests to give these examination we can directly take the examination specialty or professional examination every time. So guys, this series video is not yet completed. We have many more AWS certification frequently asked questions which is going to be covered in the next video of AWS certification facts part 2. We'll see in that video. Thank you. Guys, bye.